All right guys, it's Bob here. And in this video, I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of an LCD display car kit from Zizu. Big thank you to Zizu for sending this out for review. I've had it now for a couple of weeks, two to two and a half weeks, something like that. And we'll get straight into the box and show you what you get. So you get the device itself, that cable, and your instructions. That's it. So put that box aside now and uh, we'll have a look. So you just get a 3.5 to 3.5 there and you'll see what that's for in a minute. And I'll get this out of here. I think I jammed that back in there a bit tight actually. Um, so there you go. Um, now obviously it's got a flexible arm on it. I've had no problems with that at all actually, which is surprised because they do tend to go rather slack with these things. You've got this bit here, and that goes into your cigarette lighter or cigar lighter or 12 volt socket, whatever you want to call it on your car. And this is like the, the business end of it basically. Uh, I haven't actually taken the film off, I know there's a bit of dust on it and a bit of scuff in and whatever, but I haven't taken this film off here. So yeah, you've got uh, an LCD display here. And uh, to be honest, you can't see a lot of what's on that because it's so far away. I mean, that's probably just some of that's probably just my eyesight, to be honest. Um, I do have noticed that you can see like telephone numbers scrolling across it when you get a, a call coming in. Uh, but other than that, you know, it, it's been great. You know, you've got you've got your track skips here, uh, stop and start, uh, volume up and down, which, to be honest, I've not really used them. I just sort of like set the volume on my phone and then, uh, you know up and down with the uh, the car stereo because what this one does is it uh, connects via the an FM transmission you know, one, 108 you set it to don't you uh, it's, it's, I'll show you in the car anyway but yeah you set you basically normally it's uh, 108 you set your FM receiver up to that and this connects to it basically it's it's all very very simple to connect and then you've got this bit here that can go into there and if your car has got that connection then you can make that connection. Um, I've not really used that to be honest because I'm not a big listener of music in the car. But uh, what you can also do with this is you can use a USB storage device or an SD card for storing music on, which you can then you know, play across to your car stereo. It automatically then will cut in over a call the only thing is if you want to listen to your car radio it doesn't automatically cut in so you'd be listening to your radio and then when you um, get a call come through you would have to manually hit the preset button on your car that you've preset this into which I've already done I preset it into one I don't really listen to the music much like I say I, I just like to keep sort of legal in the car where being uh, hands-free and everything's concerned but anyway I'm gonna take it down to the car and uh, We'll show you how it all works. Right guys, so here we are in the car. This is very cramped, very difficult, and I can't see a great deal of what's going on. But uh, I'm gonna show you how it all works anyway. So, if we, uh, I think, I'm just thinking the best way to do this is to actually turn my stereo on first and let you listen. And you'll be able to hear the static. It's turned into the tuner 108 and it's on an FM channel. So let's put this in. Now I've got my iPhone 6 Plus here with me as well. And you'll hear something. It is ready, waiting for a device to connect. Now let's see how quick it's going to pair. Because this varies. Paired. There we go, it's paired. So, you know, you can see how it works. Sometimes. It doesn't even get that uh, first sentence out and it will say paired before she's even managed to finish saying that. So yeah, generally with these sort of things you, you can't really make a call out, not safely per se, and within the realms of the law in the UK. Now I'm not sure how it stands in other countries. But if I now plug that into the USB slot on the back of there, I'm going to get it the right way around and uh, then plug that into my iPhone USB model and you can hear it tells you that 
And then of course that now leaves it so that I can actually make a call out just by saying, hey Siri, call home. Calling home. And I'll just hang that up because uh, otherwise the, uh, the wife will do me for prank calling her and stuff like that. <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, that's the only way to sort of like legally make a call out I suppose really you've got to use the, the voice dialing um, it is good that it's got through charging and all that sort of thing um, they're not my first choice um, you know as you can you can get much more compact devices that you carry around uh, this one's handy in so much as I can you know I can answer and end a call here yeah, this is an all-in-one unit you've got your power supply there and you know you've got all your control to your music stuff like that uh, i mean you know let's just put a if we put a um, if i actually disconnect that now so you can see that i'm not uh, connected but i am connected via bluetooth of course so if i uh, if i go onto youtube and And you can hear that that is coming through my car stereo. So, you know, that's how you play your music. So you can get it pretty loud, of course. I think if I wanted to see anything really on this, I mean, if I, if I want to move from car to car, this is great. I just have to pull that out and take it with me. Uh, not the best looking options, not the most compact option. But that's where it has its biggest plus point is because I, I mean I do swap vehicles around sometimes I jump into vans stuff like that all I've got to do is grab that take it out go with me and as long as the vehicle that you move into has got an FM tuner and the uh, the 12 volt socket that's it it'll do its job so from that point of view they're great um, the one main thing that I could complain about on on this or this particular model I don't know if others do it is I would actually like to see a on off switch just on the base somewhere around here or possibly up here but just on here would be great if you've got an on off because my car and some other cars of course um, if I turn the ignition off now see the stereo has gone off but this is still on it would just be nice if I could turn that off because the only way for me to turn that off is to pull it out. So there you go guys, I mean, you know, leave your comments underneath. So this is the LCD display car kit by Zizu. It's hands-free, Bluetooth 4, and it supports, you know, as you can see, USB, uh, SD card and everything. So leave your comments underneath guys. Big thank you to Zizu for sending it out for uh, review, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers guys, see ya.